For example 4, we're supposed to expand 1 plus x minus x squared raised to the power of 7 in ascending power of x up to the term x cubed. Now, the first thing that comes to your mind must be, hey, wait a minute, I thought this is a you know, binomial um, expansion. So binomial means, well, there must be two terms, as I mentioned earlier on, isn't it? I mean, but here I see three. There are three terms. So how am I going to do that? Well, the trick is to change this expansion, that is not a binomial expansion, not a normal binomial expansion at least, into a binomial expansion. How are you going to change it into a binomial expansion when it is not a binomial expansion? Right, very simple. Okay, now you see that there are three terms here. What you do is, well, what, what is binomial expansion all about anyway? There must be two terms inside, isn't it? So what we do is we're going to split them up into two groups. Okay, so instead of having three items inside, okay, I'm going to keep one as one item, and I'm going to keep x minus x square as the second item, the second term in this bracket. So what happens here is that this bigger bracket, okay, this expansion now is become, or it has become a binomial expansion, okay, because now there are two terms inside. Alright, so to in order to expand this, now everything becomes um, more familiar, isn't it? I mean, first term, which is 1, 1 raised to the power of 7 is 1, plus 7c1 is 7, so 1 to the power of anything should be 1, so, well, we can ignore the 1. But the second term will raise its power by 1, okay? And of course, the next term is 7c2. Okay, so 7c2x minus x squared raised to the power of 2. Alright, now, be careful here, because all we want is only up to the term x cubed. So we want to make sure that we don't miss out any x cubed. Now, what you need to be able to do next is to think whether the next term... Okay, whether should we, should, should we do the next term? Should we add in the next term as well? Okay, the answer is yes. Now how do how how do I know then? Well, very simple. All right, because we need to do up to x cube, okay? And we must know that because this is in ascending powers of x, and therefore this bracket here x minus x squared is increasing in power. So when you expand this, there is an x cube inside here, okay? Which is another binomial expansion but, but this is a very simple one but um, again all we care is only for the x cube or anything other than that is more than x cube now do, should we do one more just to be safe no no need to because for the next term you know that it will be x minus x square raised to the power of 4 and the lowest power of x will be power of 4 and therefore that's not what we want and therefore that's not uh, we don't have to add in this term at all Alright, so let us just try to simplify this and we have 1 plus 7x minus 7x squared. Okay, so hopefully you can remember how to do this mentally. It's actually not that difficult. Alright, let's try it. 7 multiplied by 6, that will give us 48, 42, right? So 42 divided by 2 and that will give us 21. Okay, so this binomial coefficient 7c2 is 21. You can check that with a calculator. And of course, this thing here, this expansion here is a mini binomial expansion, so you can just simply expand it. Okay, so first um, minus away 2x cubed. Okay, now you notice that the next term, alright, will give you an x to the power of 4, so we don't really care. Alright, so we can actually just stop here. Alright, the next thing, of course, um, 7c3 will maybe a little bit more challenging to use mentor. So, you know, you can just always use a calculator. So you get 35, okay, and of course, the first term in this expansion will be x cubed, okay. And of course, you, re you, you should know that the next term is a negative 3x4. Okay, which is again something that we are not really interested in anymore, isn't it? So we, we can just stop here. Okay, there we go. Uh, now, so of course what we do have to do next is just to simplify this, isn't it? So we have 7x minus 7x squared plus 21x squared minus 42x cubed plus 35x cubed. Okay, plus dot dot dot. Okay, we don't care about anything else. Okay, 
So, of course, after simplifying, we will have uh, 1 plus 7x plus 14x squared minus 7x cubed plus dot dot dot. And there we go. This is the answer. Now, the challenge in doing this kind of question is the only fear that we miss out one term. Okay, I mean, it would be terrible if we forgot about this term. Okay, I mean, just imagine that we did not add in this term. Okay, so obviously we won't have this positive 35 x cubed, and therefore our x cubed will be definitely wrong, isn't it? So, it is very, very important that you sort of, um, you know, think about the next term, alright, and see if the, the terms that you need are in the next term or not. Okay? Now, some of you may ask then, hey, you know, is there a reason why I group it up this way? I mean, 1 as one term and this x minus x squared as one term. Yes. Okay, there is a reason why we group it this way. How about, you know, maybe I, maybe some of you may, may group the expansion this way. Is it going to give me the same answer? Am I going to be correct? Well, yes. Okay, you're going to be absolutely correct if you manage to expand this properly. But then why don't I do it this way then? Well, there is a big reason why we avoid doing this. Okay, because if you were to do the expansion out yourself, you will start to see something rather, you know, tedious. Okay, I would say tedious, very tedious. So the first term is your 1 plus x, and 1 plus x will have the full power. The next term, of course, we have 7. Alright, because it's 7c1, and we have 1 plus x reduces by 1 power, and it becomes power 6, and we have negative x squared for power 1. And of course, I mean, this will go on. But the thing that, alright, should, you should see, and you should be, you know, fearful of, is the fact that, whoa, you know, you expanded this binomial expansion and you have another binomial expansion to contend with. Not only that, the next one is as well a binomial expansion. And if you go on, you'll be power 5. So definitely, it's a lot more work, all right, than uh, what, uh, what, we, what is done in the blue ink, okay? So those in the red is going to be having a terrible time trying to simplify, trying to expand further. And what is worse is you will start to have descending power. Okay, you, you have the highest power of x first, and then slowly, slowly you go down. Okay, descending power of x. So, so this is not a very advisable way to do it because um, you really have to do all the um, expansion Okay, otherwise, you know, you have no idea what is happening behind, whether it's then x cubed, okay, whether it's an x square uh, further down the, the road, okay? So, this is absolutely not a very good idea, okay? So, how do we decide then? We're very simple. We always try to make a constant, okay, as one term, all right? As, it, as you can see here, 1 all right, every time you see 1, you should be very happy because, you know, 1 to the power of anything is always 1. All right, so it's as good as not being there at all. As you can see, is there any 1 here? I mean, do you see any 1? No. All right, because, I mean, this is there. Okay, is it 1 to the power of 6 here? But no, you, you, have, you don't really care because it's 1 to the power of 6. It's still 1. All right, so um, even if it's 2, right, it will still be a lot easier than this method in red. Okay?